I, I've presented or, or demonstrated this to a number of brands now. Everyone I've given a demo to is like, I love it. I don't know what, but I want to do something with it. I think part of it is as an education job. A lot of brands have heard of it, but not, not had the demonstration. The brands that I've demonstrated it to absolutely love it, and now they are really starting to think about, okay, something for us to consider. You can take anything you produce for the Rift, and we can port it onto iPads, onto web, tablet, mobile. So it's completely cross-channel. You know, you can use it on all kinds of different media as well, which is, being, which is actually something which has been incredibly exciting for a lot of the brands we've spoken to. The FIFA World Cup is one I think could be interesting from. You know, you could be in a shopping centre on a Saturday afternoon, being dragged around by your other half, uh, minding other things, and then whether it's Coke or whoever the, the sponsor or partner is offers you the chance to do a stadium tour and have a look around, you know, just from, from Westfield Shopping Centre to live streaming content directly from, from one of the FIFA World Cup matches, a tunnel walk when the players first walk out onto the pitch and perhaps not until the technology exists at home, but something like that if you add the sound and the smell and the sensation of the heat. Um, so it feels like you've got 80,000 fans roaring into your ears as you walk out with the England team. Brands are they're quite worried that if they produce some kind of stand and they've got one person on Oculus Rift mm. and a big screen, how are they going to serve enough people? So we've been looking at producing designs for stands where you've got a huge number of rifts, but mm. one kind of main rift on a plinth, which is on a giant screen. So when someone's wearing that one, everyone can see what they're doing, but lots of people can still experience mm. it.